Throughout the process of constructing this product, I've learnt a lot about the technologies required to create a moving image. One of the first things I learnt in my media course was how to operate a digital camera. This involves setting the white balance, which I've just done on this camera, using a tripod, etc. During the filming process of our preliminary task, we used a mix of tape, both tape and digital cameras and decided that although tape camera was slightly more difficult to use, the HD camera, the HD tape camera with the ring for focus ball definitely allows the use of more technical camera work. Because of this, we decided to use a HD tape camera for our coursework. Of course, before this came a basic run through of camera angles and techniques, for example, pans, tilts, and tracking shots, key parts of most films. Another basic technique of filming is framing, i.e., getting your subject to fill the frame rather than allowing dead, uninteresting space. I have applied all of these techniques to my final project. If I hadn't, then its format would be far too simplistic, for example, if I'd only used static shots. Some of the issues we came across filming using the light stands is that in some of the shots they were used in, the stands were clearly visible, so I rectified this in post-production editing stage by either enlarging the frame or blurring the stand out slightly. A technology that I have used is Blogger. This is largely used to document progress and is done in a visually interesting way through the use of photos, videos, colour and hyperlinks. It also allows for teacher feedback, which is helpful. Although fairly simple and it does fulfil the needs of students in this process, it is not the most simple block to use. I have had repeated problems when attempting to format images and text in Blogger, although I have not found it difficult to put videos into blog posts at all. One of the things I've enjoyed and learnt the most about through this process is editing. I got a lot of practice editing in the preliminary task as I ended up doing the bulk of editing for this piece which mainly involved just cutting and moving clips around, nothing too sophisticated. To edit our final product and the preliminary piece, we used Final Cut Pro. I found this program quite easy to use now after being shown the basics by a media technician. And obviously they've been really helpful with some of the effects we wanted but didn't know how to do ourselves. For example, applying the radial blur to our smoking shot. Before the film can be edited though, we have the footage has to be logged onto the Mac with a tape camera, this is not as simple a process as it is with a digital camera. Another thing I did was the titling for the piece. This was the video editing of it. Final Cut Pro offers a large variety of preset title options, i.e. all you have to do is scroll through a list of titles you could use and choose one. I went for titles involving light, as this implies discovery. It's also similar to the, um, the silence titles. The final stage in the process of making this product is of course the sound editing which happens once the image editing is locked in. We use GarageBand for this which we learnt how to use through a group task putting sound together on a mute clip from the film Drive. The basic premise for GarageBand is that there is a, blank, a bank of sound effects you have to choose from and it's simple enough to search for a sound you want and then drag it onto the time bar. For the soundtrack to our piece, one of our group members, Max, recorded a cover of Hurt by Nine Inch Nails on the guitar. This gives our piece a really haunting, eerie effect which suits the product well because it's supposed to create enigma. We did this because we're not allowed to use copyrighted music to accompany our film as this would be too simple. To get around this there are many royalty free music sites such as Incompetech com sounds are sorted into topics by mood so if you were looking for something scary or suspenseful it would be easy to find and that summarises pretty much everything I've learned about technologies